So hello everybody and welcome to another Power Query video. This time I'm going to show you a trick that has saved me many many times. It's not very very clean but it works and it is how to add missing columns in Power Query. So let me show you what it is. I'll give you an example and how to solve it. It's really neat. Let's get started. Okay guys, so I have here a simple table, name, surname, telephone and country code. And let's say that we want to have just one column for a telephone. So we put country code and telephone together with a merge. So I'll show you that. Phone. Perfect. Now, as you can see here, the merge columns is hard coding the, the column names. Okay, so if one of these column names would disappear, which is not that uncommon, then we will get into trouble. So let me show you. If I go to duplicate this, go back here, and let's say that we're importing multiple Excel files. Some of them have telephone country code, others do not. So others have the country code already on the telephone. So here it says like that, and here it says also like that. So how do you do that? You obviously want to have you need to have the same structure, otherwise when you do merge columns, it's going to say, hey, I don't find any country code. To fix this, it's super cool, I found this on the technical uh, support pages from Microsoft, I'll post the link down below. And this is what they suggested. It works very well, it's not very clean, but it works, it works super well. So this is the pattern, how it looks. So it says here, if Table has columns, and then the previous step you have to go here. Our previous step is source, so we write source here. List the columns you need. I need telephone, and I need country code, right? Country code. Then, so if the columns are there, then do nothing. It means go back to the previous step and return that table. Do nothing. Otherwise, combine Go, get the previous step and then get the table from the source and put the new columns which is going to be again telephone and country code it's as easy as that okay so the thing that i don't like so much is that it creates recreates the same table for every row because that's basically what we're telling it to do it would be nicer to have just the, the column added but yeah Let's work with what we have. So what you can do is just simply remove all the columns. And then we're going to just, because it's repeating the same table is enough to keep the first row where with one table, we don't need all there. And once we have that, we can expand. There you go. And now that we have telephone and country code, look, it works. And now look at that. Look at this. If I remove telephone also, because we're accounting for both, it still works. Nothing breaks. This is so, so nice. It has helped me countless of times. Obviously, it would be better that, you know, it would just add a column. If you know how to do that, just let me know in the comments. This is what I could find. And it is very, very useful. So I hope this trick is useful for you too. I will see you again on Wednesday. Hopefully I will do this rebuild of live expectancy report from Microsoft. It depends on time. It's taking a lot of time. Oh my gosh. But anyhow, I'll see you on Wednesday either way. So until then, take care. Bye bye.